All right, good morning, folks. This is the uh, last bit of fertilizer on hay ground. Uh, I waited for this uh, chunk of property here because there's some really bad soupy areas. We, uh, we're, we're dried out pretty well up here and uh, the timing was right. So I'm finishing this up today. This is shy of, uh, it's shy of 20 acres. <coughs> There's this piece here that we're on, and then uh, over by the farmstead homestead. There's a uh, another nice chunk. Don't get me wrong; I'll be dealing with fertilizer some more this year. You know, after alfalfa harvests, getting some potash back on them. Um, and so on and so forth, but this this feels pretty stinking good. The bill doesn't, but we're not going to go there and ruin our day because it doesn't matter. We got to keep going. I don't know how else to put that. Uh, I started working harvesting this property. Oh, this is probably year number four. Damn it. Belongs to a real good family. Uh, basically, they just want it kept clean and uh, cleaned off once a year, unless Mother Nature says that uh, you can have a second crop. This field will never produce a second crop. It just doesn't do it. The other one does, though. And. Uh, comes down to it I'm only about two miles away from the farm I'm less than two miles so nice piece of property happy to have it caught the last video the sweet corn went in you know very well last night pretty happy with everything of course naturally when I was done I uh, I'm gonna call it I did a soil test seed test whatever and uh, I'm very happy very happy with what I see. That's stage one. I'll be doing two more sweet corn plantings. The next one's going to be in about three weeks. And uh, two and a half weeks. And another one probably a week and a half after that. Now I'm finishing up here right now, literally in about five more seconds. I purposefully added just a little extra fertilizer. Just a little extra fertilizer to hit kuthas. You know, the cows were on that for a couple of days. Um, I always do this because it makes me feel better. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this for 100 pounds to the acre and cover what I can on kuthas. I won't be able to cover the whole thing, but. Uh, give it a small little shot <laughs> why not it's just down the road Oof, something ain't agreeing with me so this is triple 19 comes in at 65 ooh, pounds per cubic foot I want to be at 100 on the next piece of property so I need to be within setting two two and a half more towards two and a half so the way you do that is just simply oh wrong way ben
there we go and of course this just adjusts the flow of the uh, fertilizer out of the hopper yeah this feels pretty good this is it the hay ground is just exploding I was out at the rye patch last night uh, I'll be sure to take you out there in the next couple few days that has exploded um, today because I just I, I can't stop thinking about it I will be looking at the alfalfa across the highway and uh, things are really flourishing and we've got a we've got a healthy amount of rain that I, I gotta admit we need uh, coming tomorrow I think this evening through tomorrow and uh, we'll see what happens things are timing out very very well I shouldn't have said that should I have <laughs> but uh, yeah it's about 10 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna bring this uh, I'm gonna finish off this buggy at Kutha's bring this back to the mill and then I do believe that I'm gonna go back to some manure because I am not done and uh, it's pretty pretty late in the spring here to still be messing with manure not a big deal we're gonna talk to you sooner or later <laughs>